Nancy here and I want to talk about how to count rows. It seems to be really difficult for new knitters um, to figure out how to count rows and, and what I did, I made a swatch with three different patterns. This is garter stitch, stockinette, and reverse stockinette so you can see how to count on all three patterns. One thing that's common with all of them is that you never count what's on the needle. You don't count that. If you cast on using the long tail cast on, the first row is that cast on. And so that is, that's a pretty universal thing as well. What, what makes it a little tricky though is trying to find that first row. It kind of rolls up under the cast on edge. So when you're counting, you got to kind of, you see I'm pulling this down. It's right down in there. So that would be your first row. So we're going to start with the easy first. We'll be counting stock in, the stock in it, which is the knits straight up. Here's where you'd begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So there's twelve rows that have been knit. Okay? Let's say we're going to count now in the reverse stocking knit. Okay? Same thing. We're going to fish down here and we're going to find that little old cast on right here. One. And now on this, what you want to do is count these the pearl heads, and I call them the pearl heads because you kind of have a, two things going here. You've got the little low rounded thing, the bottom of it, but the heads are rounded up. So we're going to count those. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So just always remember, count the heads, and that's how you count reverse stock in it. Garter stitch is a little different than all of them because many times a pattern won't say knit 12 rows in garter stitch. What it's going to tell you is knit 6 ridges. Knit 6 garter stitch ridges. But it is actually 12 rows because within those ridges are 2 rows. If I was going to count it outright as a row, I'm digging down here to get in that cast on edge. One, two. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So there are 12 rows within, but if you count this way, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, there are 6 garter stitch ridges. And they call it a ridge because within that ridge you can see, I hope you can see, there's two rows that are lying in between those two ridges. Probably the trickiest to count, but just so you can find, if you want to spread it back, you'll be able to see your rows. And you can count them that way or just count your ridges. But that's how you count your rows in three different patterns.